known about God all my life. After all, I've been coming to this church since birth. However, it wasn't until recently that my knowledge of God became personal faith. Uh, for most of my life, God was just something I knew about, not someone that I believed in. But in 2013, at the end of a youth alpha course organised by a local church, they had a time to pray and to call down the Holy Spirit. I quickly felt unable to stand and I fell to my knees. It felt as if God was standing right behind me. At that moment, I began to understand what people meant when they said they felt the presence of God. And it's an experience I'll never forget. Another really inspiring experience was Spring Harvest. It gave me a chance to spend time with hundreds of other Christians my own age. And it was an important reminder that we're never alone. I know that God is always with me. And I also know there are millions of people who are walking with God, just like me. Uh, this church is also very important. You've taught me about Jesus. And every week you remind me of all that God has done for me. And you inspire me to keep trying to get close to God. Today I'm being baptised in obedience to God to show my belief in Jesus and my commitment to living my life for him. You've heard Jordan tell of the pilgrimage of faith that has brought him to this point today. He's shared because Jesus, in Jesus Christ, he's found a living Lord. He has met him in a personal way and knows that Jesus, the Son of God, loves him. And he gave himself to die for him on a cross. He knows that Jesus, the Son of God, was not defeated by death, but was raised to life. And calls us to accept his forgiveness and hope, and to share in his resurrection life. In baptism, he expresses this belief in consecrating himself in a spiritual way to commitment and service. He will enter the water in obedience, believing that baptism is commanded by Christ himself. As he goes under the water and rises from it, he's given witness to him of the desire to die to self and to rise with Christ to new life. He comes surrounded by the love and prayers of this church family and upheld by the continuous prayer that unites us with the Universal Church of Christ in heaven and on earth. So I'm going to ask Jordan a few questions now. And I can't read that, so I'll have to read this one. <laughs> so Jordan, do you believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? I do. In obedience to the call of our risen Lord Jesus Christ, do you repent of your sins and come to be baptised? I do. With the help of the Holy Spirit, do you offer your life in service to God, wherever he may call you to go? I do. Well, in that case, Jordan, come and be baptised. Tony, if you'd like to come first, and uh, then we'll get your name. Turn the next slide on, please. <laughs> That's what they all say. <laughs> right, if you'd like to come, come down, Jordan. Uh, can, can I say, Jordan, you've done sea scouts or something like that, haven't you? Yeah, yeah so he's used to jumping in cold water. Yeah. And he's been sent and the in as well, two times, yes. I was told the journey fall in a few times. So it's okay, you're used to cold water. I just I'm not. But you have a wetsuit today, so hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to give you a, a baptism verse, and uh, it's up on the screen there. It just says, fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. And today, Jordan, you made your uh, confession in the presence of many witnesses. So we're going to baptise you now. If you'd like to turn uh, round um, this way, and uh, that's it. So, yeah, it's a bit tough. It's tough. John, of, yeah, yeah, actually, come from <laughs> John, our profession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you for John. We thank you for uh, his trust in you and for the way in which you have brought him to yourself. Lord, we pray that you'll pour out your spirit and your blessings on him. Uh, and we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.